I feel pretty much good for a change in a year. So, uh, one thing I don't feel good about is your boys in pain. I have a breakout. Flea bites. Went to the old daughter house. She done scooped up like I think four dollars she had up in there. Four of them out of somebody's yard. And I went to go do some some security stuff and some more stuff and the stuff's over here. Woke up next day, felt that burning sensation. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> so <what> it is. <laughs> Right on the foot. Woke up next day, leg. Next day, other leg. Back, chest. And it delivered out now, you know. The thing is, I, I don't know when fleas bite me. I don't feel it. I just know afterwards. And it's different than any other bite on me. I'm allergic to them. I mean, anything bite me, it'll be like, ah, oh, mosquito, bite me, a bump come up. About a couple of hours, that bump gone. But, uh, musk, uh, but them fleas, like two and a half, three weeks, I'm going to have to deal with the pain. And I make it say it's like a fire ant biting you constantly. Just biting you, biting you. And you ain't taking him off. He just latched on. So, uh. Ah. I know that'd be good. Every time. Ah. Oh, bro, but the thing about it is, I say I feel pretty much good every single year. My sinuses will bother me so bad. The first time, it, it, I used to didn't be this way. I used to go out there and, and run the dust with the best of them. But it got to the point if I start mowing yard, I'm start sneezing. And now it's uh, the I think not last year, year before last, I believe, or year before that maybe. I can't remember, but my sinus had started bothering me so bad that I was having dizzy spells. Like I'd be doing something, it'd be like, oh man, they were like vertigo. I'm like, man, I think that's the name of it. But it would bother me so bad that I just let it go, let it go, let it go. The headaches, all that. Then it started draining down my side of my neck. It had swollen up my neck on the side. I had to go to the doctor behind it and get steroids, all that junk. But uh, the next year, you know, I was just went off as a sinus infection. Antibiotics, that's what it was. Steroids too. But the next year, same thing started happening. I said, Doc, <laughs> same thing happened again. Need some more antibodies. He wrote me out the little prescription on Good to go. That next year, same thing. So, one of the little nurses in there was like, I had them problems too, but what I do, I go get me some Flonase and I skeet my nose every day. So I went and bought some Flonase and some Nasonex and all that, but I wasn't using it correct last year. I was using it little by little, and I had way too late. It got me last year. It got me. And it got me so bad I started coughing real bad, and... I cough so bad it's like a trumpet. It made, you know how to make that little uh sound behind it. And it made me thought I had strep throat. It wasn't strep throat. I had to bruise my throat with all that coughing. All this him. It was like I can't explain it. 
I can't explain it. It wasn't no itchy feel or scratchy feel like a sore throat. It was a pain. And I went and got the steroid shot in the butt. <laughs> Probably about an hour later, I was like, oh man, I'm cured. Another hour went by, good, good, good. I was good. I'm like, oh man, now that's all I needed, you know? So I took a couple of little allergy medicines and they was like, started wearing off. Well, they wasn't wearing off, that shot was wearing off. Throat started hurting again. I was like, Doc, it's back. He was like, no, nah, the steroids, all they do is ease the muscle up or take the inflammation out and that's what the inflammation stop. I'm like, that was, that was a damn waste then. Actually, a waste of money to give me that, to, to give me relief for a night. That's like a junkie, man. So, uh, you know, man, with that. So this year, I, I caught it on early. I skeet the nose daily. I, 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 one day I started getting a dizzy spell, you know. But that was about it. The guy I work with, this thing got him real bad, it seems like. I bet you that's what happened to Pittsburgh D.I.s. I bet you. And I contribute all that to sometimes you take a look up in the sky. You look up. When you see that jet plane with it flying across there, if that trail is is not doing its hill behind it, it's bad. But if it's doing its hill, it's leaving that trail behind. That's not that's not condensation. Condensation don't act like that. That's sprayed out intentionally, and I think that's bothering a whole bunch of people. It really don't matter though. You know what I'm saying? You, that, that, this is going no further than here, hopefully, hardly, because you can't do nothing about it. They've been spraying it up there for, uh, I think, in the 80s, I think. I think. It may have been in the late 70s, but I think the 80s they started talking about global warming. They were going to spray this in the sky, and it's going to uh, put some kind of aluminum to reflect the sun. And now they're using it to control weather. You got harp. Look it up yourself. If you don't believe me, H A A R P harp. You got harp. Where they put the waves into that, they activate that jump. And they do it as climate control. You got drought places. They'll make it rain now. And I ain't playing. And I ain't making this up. They can make it rain. They make. Not the way y'all do it. <laughs> they can make it rain. When it rains over here, that's good, right? I mean, what else do you want? You wanted some rain here, it's dry. You needed it. But, that cloud got to go somewhere. That cloud carries on. It meet up with some more clouds. And some more weather. And when it do, all hell break loose. Now you got a tornado coming through killing so many people. All plus you want some water over there. You let God and nature take his course. Let it take his course. I mean, you screwed it up. So I guess you're trying to fix it. When you try to when humans try to fix something, they mess up something else behind it. It's always been that way. Anytime we create something, we make something behind it that's wrong. We, no, not we. Y'all. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna co sign with that one. <laughs> you see this here? Beer. When they make beer, the byproduct is malt liquor. They add something to the malt liquor, and what they add to it, it drives people to do cuckoo cool things. Not because it's got alcohol in it. You can get that out of beer if you call it that. It causes you to do stupid stuff. I can't remember the name. It starts with a T, though. I think it do. If you can research it. But they put this in malt liquor, and it, it, that's why you got a lot of crammy crimes going on in the nasty cities. 
because those people there are drinking that malt liquor. You ain't got somebody like me. I'm pretty much a strong-willed individual. I can drink it and go by it. Only thing I ain't gonna do that I wanna do, I wanna hit the crack pipe. <laughs> no, son. I do, but I won't. Because I know I love it. I know I will love it. The way people say it, I love it. But and now I'm going to sell everything. I love that and something in the back going for real though, something in the back is going to go bad for me to smoke some crack. My throat going to be bad because I'm going to be <laughs> butt going to go bad on me. Oh, taking it up for that crack. No, dog, it, it ain't nothing important like that. Give me my bill. Come on, liquor. A little bit of whiskey, wine, liquor here and the spirits there. But you can have all your drugs. You can have all your pills. You can have all your weeds. You can have all your shoot em ups. You can have all your smoke em ups. You know it ain't good for you. The only way I smoke weed, and it'll be in a controlled environment. I used to smoke weed back in the days, but then I felt dumb in the end, you know. I did. Slow. Look at the people that smoke it. Uh, you messed up. There's something that matters with you. You just can't see it. It's like the people anorexic. They can't see that they anorexic. Something wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? If I was to smoke weed it has become legal, then I'm going to smoke it at night. That's a bedtime thing. I could get dumb and sleep, you know. But I don't want to be in that world dumb. Some people don't like, like it when I call it dope, too. They hate it. drug I choose though just like you choose to smoke you chose to snort you chose to hit whatever you do but that drug that don't make me do nothing on the odd side you know what I'm saying that drug that that, that ain't finna make me that's not finna make me pass out and get dealt with while I'm in my sleep <laughs> that there ain't gonna make me suck a thing lane that there ain't gonna make me sell a book that there is not finna make me go rob somebody for some more I ain't think you'd be slow behind it. I'm be hyper of anything behind drinking it. So, I got me off them trails, didn't I? Dang. Oh, well. Ain't no sense of hopping over the trails anyway. Because, like I said, the good mint gonna do whatever they want to do. Ain't a thing you nor me nor they can do. Because it's not controlled by a single individual. It's controlled by um big, big room of dummies. So we can go ahead and stop all the hell no, we won't do this and all that. You're going to do it anyway. Whatever they tell you, you're going to do it. And you know it. Who is it? These nuts. 